be on the broadcast today. Let us know how we're sounding and looking. We are in Tharp Town today, ready for baseball action as our Tigers are taking on the Wildcats from Tharp Town. I'm Scott Webster, joined by David Leatherwood, and we are getting ready for opening pitch. And Tharp Town will be up to bat first. We're not going to have any announcements. I'll go over the lineups today for the Tigers. B.P. Blair will be on the mound. Jerry by Thorne will be batting second. He'll play second. Ty Reynolds will be shortstop. Landon Glover will be on first base. Dallas Terrell will be over on third base. Eli Ferris will be the catcher. Adam Rooker out in center field. Dalton Faulkner will be in left field. Jeremiah Robinson be out in right field for the Wildcats. Dawson Hickens be center field. Wilkinson will be on left field. Jesse Mitchell will be out in right field. Blake Daly in third. Jackson Clement playing shortstop. Lucas Wright playing second. Hunter Bolts will be playing first. Logan Bevis will be pitching. And Ty Engle Thaler will be playing, let's see, Got his position. I guess he might be the DH. Let's see. One, two, three. I guess he'll be the catcher because I don't have a catcher position. So he's got to be the catcher. So we're getting closer to opening pitch here. We'll be on our broadcast. We'll be on our broadcast today. That made a difference when you done that. That's quieting it down there. So maybe we can keep that going for you. On the broadcast today is Lindsay and Winchester, uh, custom interior for Tiffany for 43 years. And they do professional installations, all your motorhome upgrades, headboards, pull sham, roll these shades, and much more, and even come to you. And they'll give you a free quote at 662-676-9653. <clears throat> also, today's broadcast brought to you by Casey Lott. And Casey is your personal injury attorney. And he has attorneys on his team licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and in Tennessee. Number is 662-554-4000. And 5-H Farms, Donovan Han, Haley, Sophia, Hudson, and Harper Han, making the broadcast possible today. First batter up for the Wildcats, Dawson Higgins. I mentioned B.P. Blair pitching today. Eli Ferris catching. First hit, going to be out of play, foul behind us. B.P. Blair on the mound today. And the count out to 0 and 1. Swamp Johns, restaurant can cooked on Swamp Johns, 356-2300 or 3186. Pitch on its way. It's going to be in for a ball. The count now, ball on the strike. Crew H Electronics, David Humphreys to his crew. Of course, Abby, Macy, and Leighton Humphreys, big Tiger supporters. Pitch on its way. It's going to miss that outside edge. It's going to be two balls on a strike in the count. He's talking about Watson logging on Highway 9 in Vina, buyers of timber and timberland. Kevin and Harold Watson. Pitch on its way. Swing, and he's going to make contact. Going to be found in the first baseline. Next batter up, get it back to the catcher. It's going to make the count two balls and two strikes. Dawson Higgins at bat for Tharp Town here to get things started today. Pitch going to strike him out, and so BP will get the strikeout. Tigers they have a good chance to win this game if they can be error-free. First game Thursday against Hackleburg, Eli Ferris had 10 strikeouts in four innings and still got beat 10 to nothing because of errors out in the field. So BP gets his first strikeout. Banner Tire Store on the Fairview Banner Road over in Golden. Jason Parker, your manager, 662-676-2177. P 
pitch on its way. That's going to come bouncing in. Going to be two balls and a strike now. Uh, two balls and no strikes, I should say. Williams Pest Control and Insulation. Tyler Rooten is your owner. 662-454-3383. Pitch on its way. Going to be a call strike. Counting out 2-1. To do that blow-in insulation for your attic spaces, hanging for your walls. Trying to catch that outside corner. Couldn't do it. Going to be a three balls in a strike in the count. Also does your termite treatments, your pre-treatments for new construction bills and all your general pest control needs. Going to keep that back to the backstop. 662-454-3383 to Williams Pest Control and Insulation. Ellis Wooten. For all your real estate needs, Ellis Wooten is here for you. Contact him at 256-460-0598. I hope our internet is steady enough for you. We can watch us out in troubles. Going to draw the walk. If we could control the internet, folks, we would certainly do that. No doubt about it. But uh, we don't have any control. Maybe it will settle down. As we went on the game yesterday here in Tharp Town, it did settle down and uh, got steady, and so hopefully it's all right back in your home. Streaming on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and also on Facebook. Hit to left field, and a catch made. So your left fielder, Dalton Faulkner, makes that catch. And they're now two outs in the inning. Ellis Wooten for your real estate needs. Ellis Wooten is here for you. 256-460-0598. Jesse Mitchell at bat now. Runner on first for Tharp Town. I think I'm one behind. This is Blake Daly. I'm sorry about that. Going to second. Throw. It was a, it was a close play at second. Runner there safely. The runner will advance to second, and Blake Daly is at the plate for the Wildcats. BP Blair looks in, delivers the pitch. It's going to be a hit out to the outfield over the shortstop. And he picked the ball up, get it back to second base. And so they'll have runners on the corners with two outs. So that hit in the right place behind the shortstop and the center field and left field could not come up in time to make the catch. So a good placed ball. And I'm sure just like Mr. Daly drawed it up in his mind, David. You know, just what you had to draw it up and put it right where you wanted to go. And it fall. See, I did that on purpose. See, I designed that. Jackson Clement. The shortstop for the Wildcats at bat now. It's going to be hit. It's going to go. One run will score. And that will be a single. Another well-placed hit by the Wildcats. And Tharptown on the board first. Lucas Wright. Lucas playing second base for the Wildcats at bat now. This is... The sixth batter in the order. That first pitch is a strike. Put my hood on my ears. Good job by Eli getting that ball under control. Wind is cool, but now, folks, it's beyond cool. Yesterday over here, it was cold. Sleet falling. Hit to the shortstop. A good throw to first base to get us out of this inning, and it happens. So a good throw from Ty Reynolds over to first baseman Landon Glover. The third out is complete. For your plumbing, wire, and construction needs, called Brandon Nunley. 256-412-6500 
and Neighbors. And the medical clinic, Dr. James Neighbors on Hospital Road, 356-9537. Red Bay Pharmacy on a broadcast. Of course, Bill Nunn Weatherford on the Golden Road. They're open now Monday through Friday at 8 to 6 and Saturday today, 8 to 12. The number is 356-4044. The Cardinal driving on the Golden Road, 356-2358. Remind you to check our board daily for our specials. Go to the Lilies in downtown Red Bay. Ian and Bree McCoy, your owners, they have flowers, plants, and special gifts. So go by and see them and give them a call, 256-356-8313. And Alan Harden, Heating and Cooling, that's Alan and Nash Harden. And 46 years in the business, the number 356-8913. Red Bay Reynolds, and right now they have 15 brand new 10 by 20 units available for you. And Johnny Weatherford can help you store your treasures. He's on 7th Avenue Southwest at 256-668-0039. Shannon of Oliver, our Sheriff of County on the broadcast in Sunshine Homes. Been in quality homes since 1971. Our City of Red Bay, our Mayor and City Council. And the Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Red Bay, and Iuka. And the Ace Hardware inside those Piggly Wigglies at all three locations. So the pitcher for the Wildcats is Logan Bevis. And Ty Engelthaler catching. And the first batter up for the Red Bay Tigers is B.P. Blair. And B.P. will be followed by Jeremiah Thorne and Ty Reynolds due up here in the bottom of the first. And Tharktown with a 1-0 advantage. We've got a lot of games in store for you today. We'll be at the softball field next as the Red Bay Tigers varsity fast pitch softball team advanced yesterday into the winner's bracket and they will take on the ball club from Vila that pitch inside Red Bay Hospital and your administrator vice president is Sherry Jolly the number is 356-9532 take that pitch for the ball they have 24-hour ER care, low wait times, experienced, well-trained staff. And the well care center, you can contact Chris Austin, 356-1160 or 1162. BP got to count at 2-0 and oh in the batter's box. Pitch on its way. It's going to be a strike. I thought the pitch a little bit low, but I ain't the umpire. Pitch on its way. Hit down the third base line foul. BP Blair, 2 2 count. Pitch on its way. But he did. So he'll get the strike out. That's going to bring up Jeremiah Thorne. So Jeremiah Thorne will be, he is playing second base, second batter up for the Tigers. That pitch high and inside. Probit Judge Barry Moore on the broadcast, Ryan County Probit Judge. Pitch on a bounce to the backstop. David, that uh, backstop is so loose. If it comes to you, we're going to be backing up out of there, won't it? I have an insurance on the broadcast. That's John Cook, downtown Red Bay. Pitch on its way. Hide outside. 2 old count. John, take care of all your life, home, auto, annuities, needs. Go by and see him, 356-4411. Take that pitch for a strike. It'll be three balls and a strike. Pitch on its way. It's going to be low, and Jeremiah Thorne will draw the walk. Ty Reynolds up to bat next.
Ty is playing shortstop for the Tigers. Gonna be a hit to the outfield. Good strong hit, Ty. He's gonna turn two. Runner going to third. He'll be there safely. The catch made with the third baseman. He'll hold up on third. And so Jeremiah uh, Ty Reynolds with the double at Community Spirit Bank. Double. Community Spirit Bank. You can send cash fast to Spirit Pay person to person payments on Community Spirit Bank. Landon Glover up to bat. Runners on second and third. One out. Going to foul that one. First base side, and the catch made for the out. Good play by their first baseman over to make that catch. That was number 22, Hunter Motes. Over there, and I guess battled the sun to some degree. Made a good catch over there. They're going to bring up Dallas Terrell. Dallas played third for the Tigers this morning. Going to be a hit to the outfield. And the catch made for the third out, so the run will not score. So after an inning, our score one to zero in favor of the Tharptown Wildcats. Redmont Heating and Cooling owner broadcast. Patrick Brooks is the owner. And free experts on new installations. See state certified, licensed, bonded, and insured. 662-279-6569 or 6570. And Redmont Pharmacy on the Golden Road, 356-9000. J.C. Weeks with his staff. Red Bay Yacht Club on 9th Street West. And the number is 256-333-4438. Seating is available. Carry out. Welcome. And come see us at the Red Bay Yacht Club. On the broadcast also is the Red Bay Acres RV Resort. Check out our door. Check out our general store. And they're open every day from 8 to 4.30. 333-4436 is the telephone number. Dr. Larry Stutz working hard every day for you as your state senator. And Smith Animal Clinic, Dr. Linda Timberville Smith, Highway 24 East in Red Bay. And they are a mixed animal veterinary clinic. They offer in-house lab work radiology. And farm and house calls are available. The number is 356-2800. And Dr. Fabianke and the Middle Clinic of Red Bay, he and his staff on the hospital road, Right next door to the Red Bay Hospital, 356-9511. Family medicine, sports medicine, and charity medicine, Dr. Rader and Fabianke. Carl Lewis Saucers, the best sauce you ever tasted, available at Swamp John's. And Stadium Pros, that's Keith Kennedy and Alton Barksdale. They are your bleacher headquarters. Community Spirit Bank is your hometown, home home solution. Brad Bolton and his staff, 356-4445. And Fastway Car Wash on Highway 19 in Red Bay. Homeowner operated Miss Ann Vincent cheering on the Tigers. Edward Jones, your investor agent, Mike Jones, is in Russell, and Mike's been serving Franklin, Tishmingo, and Little Mechanics for 20 years. The number is 256 332 7924. Edward Jones, member SIPC. So Hunter Motes up to bat. I can feel that heat blowing this way. Feel good on my leg. Deep here on the Belmont and Red Bay on the broadcast. Since 1945, it's over there. And first pitch is going to be a ball. Hunter Motes, the batter for Tharp Town. BP Blair on the mound. Pitch on its way. Swing going to miss from Hunter. Count now. A ball on the strike. Going to tip that back to the backstop. Count now be a ball on two strikes. BP Blair. During the pitching, bases are empty. We're in the top of the second now. Tharp Town with a 1-0 to zero lead. 
And BP will strike him out. BP's second strikeout of the day. It's going to bring up Logan Bevis. Logan is pitching today for the Wildcats. One out here, top of the second. Going to be low one inside. Triple D's bucket service. Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick meeting all your high reach needs. 662 279 7500. License, bond that insured. It's going to be uh, off the plate. Two balls in the count now. Did he tip that one back? David got a ball on the strike, okay. So he did tip that one back. Well, they're changing the board now. It says, now it says 2 0. Gonna be three balls. Trying to catch that outside corner, and he's missing, apparently. Not missing by much, old David. Can't be off the plate much. I can't really tell my position here. That was off the plate. He'll draw the walk. So, Bevis on first base. Ty Engel Fowler, the catcher up to bat now. Last batter of the lineup for the Wildcats. One ball in the count. Off the outside. BP. Needs to throw his best pitch here. He's going to go back and talk to the coach at third base. That'll give BP a chance to catch his breath, settle down a little bit. Count 2 0, one out. Top of the second. Pitch on its way. Gonna come in inside. Three balls in the count now, 3 0. He's gonna call that a strike. Gonna be. 3-1 count now. Going to tip that and back to the top of the backstop. Ty Engel Thaler at bat for the Wildcats. Count, full count. Three balls and two strikes. Pitch. Actually, a throw down to first base. Uh, he's safe. Red Bay dugout thought he was out. It was a close play at first base. And BP strikes him out. Top of the line up for the Tarp Town Ball Club, Dawson Higgins at bat. Two outs. Runner on first for the Wildcats. First pitch going to be a strike. Two outs. 0-1 count. Pitch. 
Go on, get through the gap. It's going to be a base hit. David, I was talking the nine in the Hackleberg game. As a baseball coach, you coached at it, Drew. Where did you have your shortstop play? Was he closer toward third base? And he's if it was a right-handed batter, yes. Yeah. And right now, the holder would be the second baseman. Yeah. I wouldn't be holding on with a right-handed batter because right. you're giving up the gap. He had several balls get through that third base shortstop gap. I just wonder if he might be playing a little too close to the shortstop, in my opinion, but I'm not the baseball coach. BP loses in the sun. BP looking right up into the sun. Two outs, a count 0 and 2. Runner on first for Thorpe Town, pitch on its way. Gonna foul that in back behind us. So it's still an 0 2 count. Looks in the livers. Gonna be a hit. So it's gonna be a bases will be loaded. So the base is loaded for the Wildcats. Jesse Mitchell up to bat for Tharp Town. Can the Tigers get out of this jam without a run scoring? The question before us. BP Blair. Pitch on its way. He hit toward the Red Bay dugout. Strike in the count. I cut two balls in a strike. It's going to be hit it to the outfield. One run will score. Two runs will score, and I believe three is going to score. Third run's coming. Going to be closer to third base. He's going to be out. Did he lose the ball? He lost the, he lost the ball. He's in his glove, and it, the ball bounced out of his glove. I thought he had him blocked off the bag when he got the ball, but the umpire said no. So three runs score for Tharp Town. In for a strike. So a runner remains on third. Two outs. Our score four to zero. Blake Daly at bat for Thorpe Town. It's going to be a strike. Ball to two strikes now in the count. We have two outs. Three runs have scored in this inning. Off. Off the plate. It's 
It's going to be high. Good job of Eli getting that caught. Full count. Three balls and two strikes. Stop. Full count remains. Tiffin Motorhomes on the broadcast, reaching the Allegro. Three, five, six, eight, six, six, one. On side, in, gonna be too far inside. He's gonna draw the walk. Coach Donovan Hand. Head of that. For a meeting at the mound. MK and Future Pharmacy on a broadcast. Missy Montgomery, your owner and CEO. A closed door pharmacy on uh, West State Street, the Muscle Shoals. They're the patient's home with their MK heart failure kits. Dr. Montgomery created those. They reduced avoidable risk utilizations by over 60% for heart failure patients. The number 256 320 7611. So, Coach Donovan Hand settling things down. <laughs> Jackson Clement at bat. Rodgers on first and third. First pitch, drove to the outfield, coming up center fielder, makes the catch. So Adam Rooker comes up and makes that catch. Three runs scoring, they're scoring now four to zero in favor of Tharp Town. And the Tigers need to get the bats busy here in the bottom of the second. Tiffin's Appliance, Tiffin Appliance. That's David, Tony, Eli, Richard, and staff. You can't beat Tiffin's, 356-4946. And Tri-State Insurance, your agents for Kim and Kayla Wells, Mike Moore, Krista Mayo, and Brenda Purser. Belmont and Red Bay locations. And might be your vehicle, your home, your motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farm, or business. They can take care of you. And licensed in Mississippi and Alabama and in Tennessee. Belmont and Red Bay locations. Bay Health and Wellness, that's Kayla Humphrey and her staff, 376-2036 in Wooten Chiropractic. Right over in Russellville, downtown Russellville. Injuries, drug and alcohol testing and DOT testing, 3310208. And Bailey's with AC, that's Kristen Valley Morrow, your authorized straight line and RV dealer. Also, sit on the bargains on the Red Bay Road over in Golden. They're in Tupelo and Hamilton, Alabama as well. And Miller's Affordable Furniture since 1995, offering fair price and good customer service. That's Terry and Jason Miller. And Jason Miller, who is your county commissioner for this number two on the broadcast. And Greg Hamilton, working hard to make this the best school year ever for Family County Schools. That's your superintendent of education. And Casey Johnston. Casey is your board member, dish number five. And Fonder Flow, commercial and residential pressure washing. Michael Funderburg is your owner, 662-262-3569, and he does give free estimates. He's also on Facebook and TikTok, licensed and shared for professional equipment. Eli Ferris up to bat. He'll be followed by Adam Rooker, Adam Rooker and Dalton Faulkner here in the bottom of the second. First pitch inside. Pitch, hit down to third base, throw to first base. We'll be in time. So one out, here comes Adam Rooker. Oh, 
Lay down a bunt. Pitcher's going to get it under control. Throw. He's safe. He's going to hand towards second. No, he better come back to first because the young man was there. That right fielder, right where he's supposed to be, David. And he got the ball under control and kept Adam on first base. Dalton Faulkner up to bat now. Dalton, the senior, left fielder for the Tigers today. Going to second. There'll be no throw. He'll be safe on second. The pitch was a strike, so a strike in the count. Adam Rooker on second. One out. Pitch. Going to be a strike. Pitch on his way. He's going to strike out. Jeremiah Robinson up to bat. It's going to come in at the ball. It was low. Two balls in the count now. That pitch going to be a strike. That pitch was right in the middle. Going to tip that one. Two balls and two strikes. Two outs here. We'll be in time. Valerie Morrow, Laura Seal. Other people also joining us. You folks, please shower our broadcast. Strike him out. So after two complete innings, their score four to zero in favor of the Wildcats from Tharp Town. Dr. Brad Genevan over on Cox Boulevard in Sheffield. Primary care facility shows primary care. Do patients being accepted and most insurances are accepted. Medicare and Medicaid accepted. Walk ins are always welcome. 383 447 excuse me. Also, on a broadcast is Cash and Thermoplastics. Took Cash and his crew. And Franklin Electric serving Red Bay and Franklin County 356 4413. And CBNS Bank, it's Mary Ellen Allen Staff, Bridget Travis, it's 356 9547. Sunshine Meal, making that great cat and dog food and treats as well, 356 9541. And Big Star, Hal Keaton, his staff, 356 2521. And Ronnie Cook, and the Modern Woman of America, and to plan for your financial future and learn about their benefits, contact Ronnie Cook at 662-423-8477 and get the conversation started. Lindsay and Winchester, custom interiors for Tiffins for four to three years. And they'll come to you for do the work and also give you a free quote. And open Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 6815 State Line Road over in Golden. And the number is 662 676 9653. BP Blair pitching today for the Red Bay Tigers. And 
Lucas Wright. Up to bat first here. Hotter Bolts, Logan Bevis also due up here in the top of the third. Second base, throw to first, and the out's complete. So Jeremiah Thorne with good foot in the ball and getting the throw to first base. Landon Glover for the out. It's going to be Hunter Moats. Pitch. Hit back to BP. Throw to first base for the out. So two outs here. Very quickly here in the top of the third. Logan Bevis up to bat. That's going to come in low. Bases are empty. Two outs. Pitch on its way. Hit back to BP. Throw to first base. And for the out. So three up and three down for the Wildcats. And now Red Bailey's respond here with some runs in the bottom of the third. Today's broadcast brought to you by your personal injury attorney, Casey Lott, the owner of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi. Attorneys in Mississippi, Alabama, and in Tennessee. And specializes in personal injury, pharmaceutical, and product liability cases. Call Casey Lott for your legal needs, 662-554-4000. 5-H Farms, Donovan, Haley, Sophie, Hudson, and Harper Hand. And Swamp Johns, get hooked on Swamp Johns, 356-2300 or 3186. And Triple H Electronics, David Humphrey, his crew, Sporting the Tigers, Abby, Macy, and Leighton Humphreys as well. And Ace Timber Watson Logging on Highway 9 and Vine, a buyers of Timber and Timberland, has Harold and Kevin Watson. Harold's number is 256-810-8141, and Kevin's is 256-460-2815. Banner Tire Store on Fairy Banner Road, and refill on propane bottles available, and also accommodate propane for your motorhomes. Jason Parker is your manager over there, 662-676-2177. BP Blair. Jeremiah Thorne, Ty Reynolds, due up in the bottom of the third. Of course, this is the beginning of the second time through the lineup for the Tigers, and sometimes after seeing the picture for the first time through, you get a better grasp of what's going on, get a little few hits the second time through. Maybe that be the case for the Tigers. Needed some hits here, no doubt. Oh, he caught that inside edge. I'm going to say he caught it, but he barely caught it. That's going to be low. Going to be a ball and a strike in the count now. BP Blair at bat. Get through the pitcher. Shortstop goes it up, though, and so first base in time. So one out. Shortstop Jackson Clement come up, got the ball, and got through the pitcher and had the time to throw that thing to first base for the out. Jeremiah Thorne up to bat now. A strike in the count. Throw on his way. Going to get through the gap. It's going to be a community spirit bank. Base hit. Deposit a check minute with mobile check deposit made available by community spirit bank. So a runner on first and Ty Reynolds up to bat. A 
That'll be a throw to first. He'll get back in time. That was, I think that was too far inside, but the umpire said it was a strike. Ty Reynolds. Hit to the shortstop. One turned. Runner safe at second. Uh, the runner safe at first, I should say. Try to turn the double play. Try to turn the 6 4 3 double play, but just didn't have a time to do that. Runner safe at first for Red Bay. Two outs, so and Landon Glover at the plate. Throw to first. Landing Glover. Ty Reynolds on first. Don't be hit to the backstop. Strike in the count. Runner on first for Red Bays. Runner going to second. He's going to tilt that one back. Oh, two the count. Yeah, duck under that one. Runner will be over at second now. Ty Reynolds will. Runner on second. He's on its way. Hit. Going to be caught with a third baseman. That's a good play by their third baseman, Blake Daly. Backstep and make that catch. So our score remains four to zero in favor of Tharptown. Ellis Wooten, for your real estate needs, Ellis Wooten is here for you. 256-460-0598 with Brick Driven Realty. For your doors or back home work, call Gary Armstrong at 256-810-4596. For you plumbing, wire construction needs, call Brandon Nunley, 256-412-6500. And Neighbors, Phantom Medical Clinic, under James Neighbors, on the hospital road, 356-9537. Red Bay Pharmacy, Bill and Anna Weatherford on the Golden Road, 356-4044. And the Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road, 356-2358. Jenna Lilly's in downtown Red Bay, 356-8313. Also, Alan Harden, Heating and Cooling. Alan Harden, Alan and Nash Harden, 356-8913. Red Bay Reynolds, Red Bay Reynolds, Johnny Weatherford, Tavis Store Your Treasures, 256-668-0039. And Shannon Oliver, your family county sheriff on the broadcast. And your city of Red Bay, your mayor city council, 356-4473, the city hall. And Sunshine Homes, been a quality home since 1971. And the Pickley Wiggly of Belmont, Red Bay, and Iuka, down home, down the street. Store liquidation, giant sales, a big store with muscle shows. And you can find name brand items at low prices. Red Bay Hospital, your administrator, Vice President, Sherry Johnny, 356-9532. And your family judge, Barry Moore. 
and Alpha Insurance in downtown Red Bay, 356-4413, John Cook, for your life, home, auto, and annuities needs. Ty Engel, faller. At bat, swing going to be us from Ty. Redmont Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks. All your installation needs, also service and repairs. 662-279-6569 or 6570. Going to be a strike. The count now 0 and 2 to Ty Engelthaler. Batting for Tharp Town. And the pitch on its way. Going to be a ball in this count now. Ball in two strikes. Count evens out at two balls and two strikes now. First batter up for Tharp Town in the top of the fourth. Hit. To third base, throw. <laughs> Dallas Terrell able to get the ball stopped. Not able to make the throw to first base. And so a runner on first for Tharp Town. And we're back to the top of the order, Dawson Higgins. Janet Crane watching. We're also streaming folks on YouTube and on Twitter and Twitch. Of course, we are recording and we'll give our TV station play it many times in many different ways there at the TV station as well. So I'm Scott Webster, joined by David Leatherwood today. We're in Tharp Town for the Franklin County Tournament. That ball bounced right back to Eli. Ronner will stay on first. Two balls and a strike. Pitch on its way. A little bit low for the umpire's liking. Gonna tip that one back. count three balls and two strikes pitch on its way gonna reach at that one it's gonna foul that one back behind us I think that pitch is off the plate they got the batter to reach out to try to get a hold of it Gonna be hit out to left field. Somebody needs to call it. Dalton Faulkner makes the catch for the out. Way off the plate. Your Franklin County Sports Judge Barry Moore making today's broadcast possible. 
Runner on first for Tharptown. Pitch on his way. Swing going to miss. Alpha Insurance and downtown Red Bay. John Cook for all your life. Home auto near to his needs. 356-4411. Wilcoxon at the plate. It's going to be a little high. Count will be two balls and a strike. BP will look in. That pitch too far inside. Redmond heating and cooling. Patrick Brooks, your owner. Redmont Pharmacy and Red Bay on the Golden Road. Three five six nine thousand. The telephone number for J.C. Wicks and his staff. Swing and a miss. Going to be a full count now to the Badger. Will Cookson. Three balls and two strikes. One out. We're at the top of the fourth. And Tharptown with a four-run advantage. That pitch is going to come in high. And he'll draw the walk. So Jesse Mitchell up to bat there. Gonna be hit fouled third base side of the field. Runners on first and second for Tharp Town. Four to zero, our score. In favor of Tharp Town. Throw to third, he's going to be out. So the runner out at third base. Two outs now. Ball and a strike in the count. Sun not shining as bright as it once was. And the wind is cooler than it once was, I think, David. It's going to be inside. Low. Two balls on a strike. You see that backstop blowing in our picture. We and Gusting here in Tharp Town. And me and David are pray we don't get snowed in. But if we get snowed in, David, the Ferris here have a heater we could borrow if we get snowed in. I think the temperature is dropping instead of getting warmer. It's going to be hit out to right field. And the catch will be made. Jeremiah Robinson up to make that catch. So our score remains 4-0. to zero. And bottom of the fourth coming up. Next on your hometown station, WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Red Bay Yacht Club on our broadcast. Ninth Street West inside the Red Bay Acres of River Resort. They're open Monday through Friday from 11 to 8 p.m. and Saturdays from, from 4 to 8 p.m. Closed on Sundays. And check them out on Facebook for our daily features. Stay the available. Carryouts welcome. 
256-333-4438. Also on the broadcast is the Red Bay Acres RV Resort. Open daily from 8 to 4.30. And check out the general store, Dr. Larry Stutz, working hard as your state senator. And Smith Animal Clinic, Dr. Linda Tuberville Smith. Have 24 East in Red Bay. 356 2800, the telephone number, a mixed animal veterinary clinic. All for in house lab work radiology and also farm and house calls available. And check us on Facebook for updates. Also on the broadcast is the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. Dr. Rader Fabianchi on the hospital road, 356 9511. And he does family medicine, sports medicine, and geriatric medicine. Carl Lewis Sauce is the best sauce you ever tasted, available at Swamp John's. And Stadium Pros. That's Keith Kennedy and Alton Barksdale. They are your bleacher headquarters. Mutual Spirit Bank, your hometown home on solution. Since 1908, offering those solutions. And see Brad Bolton and the staff for call 356-4445. But... Attempted, rolled foul, Dallas Terrell at bat now. Let's see, Dallas, Eli Ferris, and Adam Rooker up here in the bottom of the fourth. Fastway car wash on Highway 19. Miss Ann Vinson, home on operated. I think it hit him in the helmet. Did it hit him in the... I thought it hit him. I thought it hit the bat. So they'll call that charge that first strike, right? Yeah. Why did the first first the base umpire do like that then? What'd that mean? Didn't, oh, it didn't hit him. Okay. Let's hit out a foul over the first base dugout. Edward Jones on the broadcast. One two pitch on its way. That's gonna be high and inside. I'll get around to it someday. Hopefully that's not your safe retirement strategy. Your advisor, Mike Jones, can help you. That was also inside when he swung on it. Mike has been serving Franklin, Tismingo, and Edelman County for 20 years. And go ahead and make the call at 256-332-7924 and make someday into today. Edward Jones. Swing at a miss, still strike Dallas out. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Eli Ferris, at bat now. Deaton Funeral Home, Bellwood and Red Bay. Serving the area since 1945. First pitch in for a strike. Logan Bevis at bat. Hit to the outfield. And the right fielder cannot make the catch. Gonna be a double. And he's going to slide into the double in the second base. And so Eli Ferris, the Beauty Spirit Bank, double. Deposit check many where the mobile check deposit, Community Spirit Bank. Adam Rooker up to bat now. One out with Eli on second. We're going to have a runner come in from Eli. Number 11. I believe number 11 is going to be Brady Harden. It is. So Harden in for run, to run for Eli. Had to pitch high and inside. Of course, Eli the catcher. I'm sure he'll start putting his gear on. Pitch. Going to be a call strike. Gonna put it for a ball on the strike in the count. Runner on second. There he is, one out. Red Bay needed some runs here. 
Bunt laid down. He's headed towards first base. And he's burning it. He's going to be safe. The umpire says out. Did the umpire – did he say out? Because he was safe. He's going to second. So the Tharp Town coach out to the circle. Pitcher's man. Yeah, Meeting with his infield. We'll have runners on second and third. And let's see. Number seven. Number seven is going to be. Harley Strickland, Harley Strickland. So Harley, Harley batting for Dalton Faulkner, is that right? Yes. Gonna be, gonna tip that one. Third base side. Swing going to be from Harley. Two strikes in the count now. One out. Runners on second and third. Good, solid base hit. We'll score at least one run. If you get that thing in that first base, like a base gap, it rolled out to the fence. Gonna be a little blooper. Gonna be out at first, but one run will score. So Brady Harden across home plate to score one run would we'll have runners, a runner on third as Harley was out at first. But Harley with that sacrifice to bring you out a run. Jeremiah Robinson at bat now. First pitch. High in the zone. Triple E's bucket service. License, body in the chair. 662-279-7500. That's going to roll foul. Almost a perfect bunt laid down. It just rolled foul to last minute. Let's see if that might be the game plan here. Count it 0 1. Official says 1 and 1. Hit the gap. So a beautiful hit by Jeremiah Robinson. That community spirit bank base hit drives it and run. And shoot at checking and saving accounts available today. With just one dollar, you open one up. Community spirit bank. So it's four to two. That ball hit. Hard hit foul. Jeremiah Robinson over on first base. Pitch. Gonna hit that one. Gonna hit that one foul in the third base line again. Oh and two the count. Two outs. Yeah. 
And top of the order up for the Tigers in BP Blair. Be a throw back to first. Way to be there, Jeremiah. Runner going to get back on first and tap. Jeremiah Robson over at first base. BP Blair at bat, two outs. The score now four to two in favor of Tharp Town. He's going to tip that to the backstop once again. Count still 0 and 2. The junior BP Blair at bat. Hit. Going to be foul. A uh, fair. Will a run score? Going to third. It's going to be close. He'll be at third safely. Jeremiah Robinson. B.P. Blair, the Beauty Spirit Bank, double. And check out Beauty Spirit Bank on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Jeremiah Thorn, up to bat now. Runners on second and third. The pitch high. Tiffin Motorhome for the Allegro, 356-8661. Oh, one. Oh, yeah. Going to be a hit to left field. In the gap, two runs will score. What, what are we holding up? What in the world? Motor coming home is going to be close. He's going to be out. He did drop the ball to the last minute. He dropped the ball. No, no, no. Runner. Yes, so we have some tie ball game. Right there. Liked a bit of mess up there, David. Lucky the ball was dropped at home plate. Sometimes it's uh, what we say, nice to be lucky, David. We got a tie ball game though, folks. It's four to four. Yeah, he dropped the ball. There's no doubt he dropped the ball. If he had not dropped the ball, he'd been out at home, Blake. But he dropped the ball, and that's. Huh? Yeah. So, the Tigers fortunate there that the ball was dropped at home plate. <laughs> Tory and Louie likes it anyway, don't you, Tory? Now, David, Tory done an excellent job helping me yesterday get everything set up. So, hand off to Tory and Louie. I was freezing to death. So, Tory get everything set up for me yesterday. Help me. Hey, I hired a kid to tote it out of here, too. I hired a kid to tote it out of here yesterday. I was so cold I couldn't tote it out. My hands is cold. Took me five minutes to get my bill for in my pocket. I bet back there. But couldn't, couldn't get my, bucket, my button unbuttoned back there. Ty Reynolds at bat. Red Bay has tied it. Jeremiah Thorne over on third base. So let's see, David. Two runs scored with two outs, right? Yes. So two runs are scored with two outs. That was going to be high and inside. Tricy Densher is on the broadcast. Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, and Brenda Purser. Belmont Red Bay locations. Licensed in Mississippi and Alabama and in Tennessee. 
And Tiffins apply, Tiffins apply. That's David, Tony, Eli, Richard, staff. You can't beat Tiffins. Three, five, six, four, nine, four, six. And uh, Ty Reynolds will draw the walk. Here comes Landon Glover. And Landon don't need a home run. He needs a base hit. It's going to be high. Runner going to second. Ball in the count. Runners on second and third for the Tigers. Go ahead, run it third. Two out. Two oh, the count. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Count. That's high. Count out at three one now. Landon steps in. Runners on second and third for the Tigers. The Tigers have tied it here in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch. Won't be a strike. Full count now. That last pitch is a pretty pitch by the Bevis. It's going to be hit to the outfield. It's going to fall in. Ron scores. Ron coming home. And Landon will have the Gifty Spirit Bank double. And that's going to score two runs. Gifty Spirit Bank. Need a new loan or a new checking account? Just contact Gifty Spirit Banker and get started. Folks, it's that simple. That double drives in two runs. Dallas Terrell. At bat now, Red Bay with a 6 4 lead. Have fun, Dallas. Have fun. Lightning Glover. Lead off second base. Pitch. Don't be in for a strike. Be foul. Ball and two strikes. The Dallas Terrell. It's going to be high and inside. Even a count of two balls and two strikes. Bay Health and Wellness, that's Kayla Humphreys and her staff, 376-2036 in Red Bay. Get to the shortstop, throw to first base, gets loose. Glover will score. Red Bay 7-4 now. Here comes uh, Eli Ferris up to bat. A runner on first. Two outs. Going to second to throw off the bag.
So Dallas over on second base now. Eli Ferris. He hit to the first base. He's going to be close. He said he's going to be out at first base. Red Bay was seven runs in that inning, though. So a seven-run inning for the Tigers, and the Tigers lead by three, seven, four, and top of the field coming up next right here on your hometown station, the Ivy Broadcasting Company, WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Wooten Chiropractic for injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing. Downtown Russell, 4331-0208. And Bay Diesel and AC, Chris Nevada Morrow, your authorized straight liner and RV dealer. See a lot of markings on the Red Bay Road over in Golden. Locations also in Tupelo and Hamilton, Alabama. And Miller's Affordable Furniture since 1995, offering fair prices and good customer service. Terry and Jason Miller. Greg Hamilton working hard to make this the best school year ever as your Franklin County Superintendent of Education. And Jason Miller, your County Commissioner for Franklin County for District Number 2. Casey Johnston, your Board Number 5 member, Board of Education member. And Funder Flow Commercial and Resultant Pressure Washing. Michael Funderberg, your owner, and he'll give you a free estimate. The number is 662 262 3569. It's also on Facebook and TikTok. And he does power soft washing, roof washing, surface cleaning, and commercial and residential buildings. And he gets it clean for you. And uh, Anything you need, he can get it done for you. Dr. Brad Genevin, in Sheffield at Cox, on Cox Boulevard. And he did the show's primary care facility, on site x rays, EKGs, blood work, MRI, CT scans, stress tests, echoes. Dr. Brad Genevin, the husband of Red Bay's very own Sierra Hubbard. A graduate of Cherokee High School, Dr. Genevieve is, University of Alabama and UAB Medical School. And the walk-ins are welcome. And he's a family medical, a family medical care doctor for all ages. Blake Daly. Pitch bounces in and off the leg of the umpire. Cash and Thermoplastics, that's Chuck Cash and his crew. And Franklin Electric, they're in Red Bay and Franklin County, 356-4413. And CBNS Bank, that's Mary Ellen Allen staff, appreciate your business. 2 balls and no strikes in the count now. And Blake Daly will draw the walk and coach Donovan Hand out to the pitcher's mound. Number eight pitcher now for us, Dallas Terrell. Yeah. No, 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 that's Jeremiah. Jeremiah 
Jeremiah Thorne, number six. At eight and six, when that jersey gets bowling around, it's hard to distinguish. And my pen rolled off the table, I reckon. Where'd that thing go? I was in my pocket where my cold hand was at. <laughs> so Jeremiah Thorne, at pitcher now. Let's see, who's going to move to second? Let's see. I can't really tell. The switch is going to take place here. Eli Ferris is going to remain the catcher. Landon Glover at first, BP at shortstop. And other numbers on the two on the right side of that four group there, I can't tell what the numbers are. Ty Reynolds. And uh, Dallas Terrell will be your infielders. Jeremiah Thorne was playing second. <laughs> Dallas Terrell. You know, uh, David, if I was a pitcher and I heard that from that dugout, I'd have a loose ball right to the dugout. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what he's doing halfway up the back. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> I'd come around too far after right to the dugout. <laughs> yep, Jackson Clement at bat now. Runner on first for the Wildcats from the top of the field. No outs. Runner going to second, throw on its way, and he's going to be out. So good throw from Eli Ferris. Ty Reynolds making that catch for the out. Did he come off the bag, David? I couldn't see the umpire had me blocked. Get to the shortstop ball. So we're going to have a runner on first, but there is one out. The board don't show it, but they remind me they are one out in this inning. Lucas Wright. Swing and a miss. Runners going to second. Pitcher looking in. Swing and a miss from Lucas Wright. Count now 0 and 2 with a runner on second. He's taking a big lead off second. Nobody really covering that side of the bag. That shortstop, David, he's playing way too close to that second base. And there's a big gap between third and second. I, I don't, I, I, you know, I. Second baseman will have to cover with right handed batter. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite honest. I'm not a baseball coach, but just a, that's a big, that's a big, big gap between second and third. Now, David Ossie Newsom might could have covered that distance between second and uh, shortstop and third, but I'd have a hard time covering that distance. Now, David's pen blows off the table. Pitch on its way. Three balls and two strikes, a full cap. Uh -oh. Three, two. Oh, you asked me? Oh, yeah, it was, but he did call it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm just a poor old broadcaster. I know. I'm just kidding. Oh, 
three balls and two strikes. Swing at that one. Makes the catch. Oh, Lord, makes the catch. Did it. Did it drop? Landon Glover makes the catch. Somebody. Landon. Yeah. Yeah, the first baseman come in. He, he had the right to call the ball, I'm sure, did it, David? Yeah. Jeremiah Thorne. <laughs> that pitch high. <laughs> Hunter Moltz at bat. Two balls and no strikes in the count. Runner on second for Tharptail. That pitch high. Gonna be a strike. Two outs in the inning. Thank you for Tark Taffy on its way. He's in that gap, David. Runner coming home. Oh, the pitch. The throw. It's going to end up being a double. Run, run will score. See, this going to be uh, must be a pinch hitter in, David. Is that number? What number is that? 19, yeah. So that's number. Marcus Jeffries at bat. That softball come flying over here. They would like somebody hotter to watch her hands. I want to get hit in the head with that thing. We got her back yeah. So it's going to be fouled into the backstop or by the first base dugout. A strike. He gets the strike out, and the birds gets the strike out. Bob of the fifth coming up, seven to five. Our score. So seven to five, our score. We're gonna have to we have to have some anchors to tie our table down. I tell you what, this is <laughs> this is uh this is not softball or baseball weather, not even fishing weather, David. You know the old saying about our weather, if you don't like it to turn around it'll change, but I wish it'd change pretty fast, David. But I'm going to tell you something, folks. It wasn't near cold as it was yesterday here in Tharptown. <laughs> Big Star on the broadcast. That's how Keaton this down. 356-2521. And CBNS Bank. 356-9547. Sunshine Mills making great cat and dog food. 356-9541. And Ronnie Cook. And the Modern Woodman of America. 
And uh, if you want to play in for life, for protection, to save it to retirement, the member-owned Fraternal Financial Services organization also offers member benefits and local volunteer opportunities. Call Ronnie Cook at 662-423-8477. So the pitcher has been changed at the Dawson Higgins. Dawson was playing out in center field. He's going to come in as the pitcher. And that center fielder is far out there. I don't know who that is out there. But. So Tharptown makes that pitching change. Number four out center field. Jesse Mitchell was in right field. And number 19 come in earlier. That's that. Uh, Marcus Jeffries. Yeah, Marcus Jeffries. First batter up for the Tigers is Adam Rooker. Dalton Faulkner will follow Adam Rooker, then Jeremiah Robinson. Be a ball and Two strikes in the count. Strike him out. Dalton Faulkner up to bat. Lindsay and Winchester on a broadcast. They come to you. Also give you a free quote, 662-676-9653. That one hit to the outfield. Catch made out by the left fielder. Jeremiah Robinson up to bat now. Two outs. Jeremiah Robinson. First pitch high. Softball started over behind us, David. I think they are playing softball behind us. To the backstop. What time did they start over there? You remember? David and I head over to the softball field when this game is concluded. And Jeremiah Robinson will draw the walk. And here comes B.P. Blair. The leadoff. The leadoff hitter for the Tigers. B.P. Blair. Jeremiah on first. Dawson Higgins pitching now for the Wildcats. Pitch on his way. Runner going to second. He'll be there. He'll be there safely. So runner on second and Jeremiah Robinson and B.P. Blair at the plate. Two outs here at Red Bay with a 7-5 to five advantage. Bottom of the fifth. It's going to bounce over. Catcher can't find it. He's going to... Jeremiah be on third. So J. 
Jeremiah moved over to third base. Needle Mitchell. It's an all broadcast. Beatrice Nicholson Harden, way to go, Brady Harden. Cindy Newman cheering on the Tigers. Mary Smith out in Facebook World. I ask you to please share our broadcast. Other folks could also join us. Count 3 1, pitch on its way. Hit, shortstop. Ain't able to get it. Throw to first base, he's going to be safe. Said he was out at first. And that was uh that was close. About as close you can get to about being safe, ain't it? Today's broadcast brought to you by your personal injury attorney, Casey Lott. The owner of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi, Mr. Casey Lott. Attorneys in Alabama, Tennessee and Alabama. And specialize in personal injury, pharmaceutical, and product liability cases. Call Casey Lott for your legal needs, 662-554-4000. 5-H Farms, that's Donovan, Haley, Sophie, Hudson, and Harper Hand. And Swamp John's Restaurant and catering get hooked on Swamp Johns. 356 2300 or 3186. Scott Webster and David Leatherwood, campus of Thorpe Town High School for the Franklin County Tournament. Baseball action first up this morning. We're in the top of the sixth, about to get underway. And David and I will be covering baseball and softball. All day here in Thorpe Town. When this game is complete, we're going to shut down and go over to the softball field about 20 yards behind us. Move our equipment over there. And maybe we can get it over there fairly quickly, David. Fourteen mile and air winds. That's a steady fourteen gushing about twenty five at times, I guess. Number one is Ty Engel Thaller. First pitch is gonna be high and inside. Jeremiah Thorne on the mound now. BP Blair. Again, pitching for the Tigers. Gave way to Jeremiah Thorne. Our score is seven to five. Going to be hit to the outfield. The catch made by your center fielder. Adam Rooker out in center field. Blair playing third base now. I think Dallas Terrell moved over to second base. Ty Reynolds, your shortstop, Lenny Glover playing first. Dalton Faulkner in left. Adam Rooker in center field. And Jeremiah Robinson out in right field. Eli Ferris, your catcher. Hit right back to the pitcher. Going to be a toss to first base for the out. Two outs now. So, number 13, Wilkinson, the left fielder for the Wildcats. That first pitch is going to be high. Bases are empty. We're in the top of the sixth inning now. 
Red right Bay with a 7 5 advantage. Swing going to miss from Lucasson. Reached out for that one. It's going to be. I did too. I saw him get hit, Bell, the other night with a softball over the backstop, sitting about ram, right by her right earlobe on her shoulder. I know it had to hurt that softball. Oh yeah, it could knock you out. Right. Wow, oh yeah, yeah. So Jeremiah Thorne gets the strikeout. Good job on the pitching man by Jeremiah Thorne. And this is bottom of the sixth. Coming up in Red Bay. With a two-run advantage, Red Bay needs another run or two, David. Triple H Electronics on the broadcast as David Humphreys his crew. Abby Macy and Leighton Humphreys supporting the Tigers. H.L. Watson Logging on Highway 9 in Vina. Buyers of Timber and Timberland. Banner's Tire Store. For every banner road over in Golden. And refill on propane bottles available and accommodate propane for your motor homes. Jason Parker is your manager at 662 676 2177. Jeremiah Thorne, Ty Reynolds, Landon Glover due up in the bottom of the sixth. We got a change at pitcher again, David. Nope, nope, nope. Dawson Higgins back and sit on the mound for the Wildcats. Williams, Pascal on insulation. That's Tyler Wooten. All your insulation needs, blow in for your attics and hanging in your walls. Termite treatments, pre treatment for new construction bills. All your general pest control. Tyler Wooten can take care of you. 662 454 3383. And Ellis Wooten. All your real estate needs, Ellis Wooten is here for you. 256 460 0598. First pitch in for a strike. It's going to be two strikes. Jeremiah Thorne. That's going to be a ball. Ball and two strikes. It's going to be high. Even count of two balls and two strikes. Realty. 3 2 count now. Ellis is your North Alabama real estate specialist. 256 460 0598. Full count. Pitch on its way. Jeremiah. Jeremiah Thorne draws the walk. Ty Reynolds up to bat here. Bottom of the six. Runner on first, no outs. Red Bay by two, seven to five. And the throw to second base is late, and Jeremiah Thorne is now on second base. Ty Reynolds. 
Aí, Bahia, né? Pitch inside. Ball. No strikes in the count. No outs. Running on second now for the Tigers. Count Ty Reynolds at bat for the Tigers from Red Bay. Jeremiah gets that lead off second base. Dirt and catch made for the out. Landon Glover up now for the Tigers. Pitch high and inside. Gary Armstrong for your Dozier and back hole work. 256 810 4596. Jeremiah on second. Throw to second. Of course, second baseman about three foot away from the bag. See, you would think that the second base ought to cover. Second base at that shortstop still over here in this gap. But the shortstop eases over there like he's going to fool him or something. That's going to be fouled. So the count now, ball and the strike. One out, Landon Glover with bat in hand. High. It's going to be a 3-1 count now. For your plumbing, fire, construction needs, call Brandon Unley at Landon will get on base and draw the walk. Here comes Dallas Terrell up to bat. <laughs> Neighbors. Neighbors from the medical clinic on our hospital road. Dr. James Neighbors, 356-9537. Tip that above my head. On, Dallas. Dallas Terrell with the old one cap. Don't turn on that one, it's going to be fouled in the third baseline. Field. Runners are advancing. They'll be at second and third. Good 
Dallas Terrell. Rodgers on second and third. Pitch on his way. Oh, Cole had a strike. Eli Ferris at bat now. Two outs now. Eli Ferris at bat. Runners on second and third. Eli takes the first pitch as the ball. High and outside. Red Bay Farmers on the Golden Road. B on Nana Weatherford. 356-4044. 8 to 6, Monday through Friday, and 8 to 12 on Saturdays. Draws the walk. So bases are loaded, and Adam Rooker is at bat. Brady Harden be in to run for Eli. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. David, David predicts a squeeze play from the Tigers coming up here. He has bonded two of the three times at bat. And the other time he struck out, didn't he? I, think so. I thought that's what it was. Pitch. He didn't show a sign that time, did he? Bases are loaded. Take that pitch. I can't now. O and two. He struck him out. Bases are loaded. And the strikeout is called. Top of the seventh coming up. Last chance for the Wildcats to tie it. The Cardinal drive in on the Golden Road. Check our board daily for our special, 356-2358. To the Lilies in downtown Red Bay, Ian and Bree McCoy, 356-8313. Alan Harden, heating and cooling. It's Alan Nash Harden, serving North Alabama and North Mississippi, and 46 years of experience. 356-8913, Red Bay Reynolds are now leasing. Available units, 15, uh, 10 by 20 units are available. And let Johnny Whitford help you show your treasures, 256-668-0039. Sunshine Homes, builders of quality homes since 1971. The city of Red Bay, our mayor and city council. Of course, your city councilman, Mike Kennedy, Jared Massey, Herbert Trulove, Jason Vincent, and uh, Brad Bolton, your mayor, Charlene Fancher. Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Red Bay, and I, you couldn't remember the Ace Hardware. 
inside those locations. Piggly Wiggly down home, down the street. It's for liquidation, giant auction sales. And they had that big, uh, better than ever, shoulder muscle shows. You can find furniture, tools, equipment, mattresses, luggage, and household items. Red Bay Hospital. And don't forget about their outpatient services. You can get your echocardiograms, karate doppler studies, ultrasounds, x-rays. CTs, MRIs, lab, IV infusions, physical therapy, mammograms. They can take care of it. Red Bay Hospital, 356-9532. Jesse Mitchell at bat for Tharp Town. Jeremiah Thorne trying to get this win here today. First pitch in for a ball. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss from Jesse. Gonna be a strike. The count now one and two. Pitch off the plate. Even up two and two. Jesse Mitchell at bat for the Wildcats. Blake Daly, Jackson Clement also due up here in the top of the seventh. Fouled over toward the softball field. Full count now, three balls and two strikes. Strikes him out. So Jeremiah Thorn gets that strike out. Blake Daly up to bat now. on its way. Hit to the outfield. Going to be a base hit. Get that back in and make it a base hit. Jackson Clement. Field catch cannot be made. Dalton came up as fast as he could and tried to make the catch. Couldn't secure the catch, so it'd be one out. Runners be on first and second. Right up to bat. He did show signs of a bunt. BP Blair out at third base. Ty Reynolds, your shortstop. Dallas Terrell, second base, and first baseman Landon Glover. Well, he showed that bunt. No, he swung. 
A swing and a miss from Lucas that time. Oh, two the count, one out. Swing and a miss, and Jeremiah strikes him out. Two outs now. Hunter Bolts at bat. And Red Bay can end it right here with this batter. The tying runs are on base. They're moving to second and third. We're not worried about them trying to get this last out here. Coach Donovan Hand going to go out to the to the mound. I would suppose Coach Donovan wants to make sure we understand one out needed to get the one out and let's get out of here with the victory. And you ain't got to worry about that runner coming home if you get out at first base. So the meeting at the mound is complete. The pitch on its way. Gonna be a strike. Ball and a strike in the count. Swing and a miss. It's out to a ball and two strikes. Hunter Bolts. Batting for Tharp Town Hunters on second and third. That's out. And the strikeout ends the game. So Red Bay will advance. A seven to five, our final score. Red Bay will advance and play again after a while right here for the championship in Franklin County. Folks, we're going to sit down very quickly, get over to the softball field. Uh, be back in just a few minutes for our softball action right here, WRMG TV at 1297. Until then, have a good day. Thank you. Final score, seven to five, Red Bay victory.